Hey everybody, welcome back to the Michael Serial channel. This week's video is going to be salmon patties in a cast iron skillet. Um, a friend of mine, Han Solo Burger, um, asked me about doing this kind of video and his ideas always pay off. So you're going to want to take the can of salmon and um, I drained like most of it, but not all of it. You might want to keep a little bit of moisture in there. And uh, the bones are totally edible, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to quickly take off most of the skin because the, the toxins, they stay in the skin of the salmon. So, you know, I'm just going to get most of it off. But, you know, I'm not really worried about it too much. The bones are edible, they're really soft, I don't know if you've had sardines, they're really soft like those. These guys look like they're deboned. Sometimes you'll see a bone down the middle depending on what you buy. This is uh, wild caught salmon, it's not like the salmon that you get in the farms. You know, farm raised fish, of course, isn't as good as wild caught. So, hats off to this uh Dimming or whatever. So you're gonna need the salmon. You're gonna need uh, three tablespoons of oil for the skillet, and we're gonna take this is a half a cup of breadcrumbs. We're gonna put this in with the um, with the salmon after we break it up a little bit with their fingers, just enough to. be able to soak all this up. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Mix it around a little bit. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. We're going to go ahead and put in the egg. One egg. A quarter cup of chopped up fine green peppers, a quarter cup of onions, and a tablespoon of salt, uh, pepper. Can't talk today. So we're going to kind of mix that up a little bit. Okay, now that we've had it all made out into patties, I've got the oven turned on medium high. So we're going to go ahead and load these into the skillet. All right. Get this going. These are on set to medium. And uh, hopefully, if you're doing cast iron, you can cook this on any skillet you want. I like cast iron. If you do it on cast iron, then uh, let me set the timer. Because uh, you're going to set it for about Five minutes on each side. This is a 10 inch skillet so depending on what size your skillet is is how much oil you're gonna put in here. Basically just coat the bottom of the pan. Put these bad boys over and it, with the five minutes again is a, is a judgment call. You want to keep an eye on them. Go ahead and flip all these over. Don't those look good? Mm. Some people like them darker, some people like them lighter. You know, however you want to do it. But, um... You guys live in other countries that aren't in America. Have they shrank your stuff yet? Have they shrank all your food? Things that were were a pound, I mean like the SpaghettiOs, pizza, ice cream, everything that you can shrink here in America has been shrank three, four times. Every year it gets smaller. I got a pizza the other day, a frozen pizza in a box, and the box was huge, but the pizza used to fit, fit the box. Now the pizza shakes around like it's a 25 cent quarter and the box shaking around with no pizza inside of it. Alright, these are done. 
So we're going to go ahead and get them up off the skillet. And like I say, if you're in another country, let me know if there's shrinking your stuff over in your country. Put in the comment section. Let me make sure. Yep. yep. Nice and brown on both sides. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Let's take a little piece of it. I know you guys always ask me to try it out. So. Mm-mm. It was great. If you don't eat red meat, if you like tuna fish, this is pretty much close to it. If you do it by this recipe, I'll leave the recipe in the in the description link in the drop down box. Thanks everybody for watching this, and there you go, Chris.